Hi friends, and welcome to one bonus uh, episode of Art Starts Explores Mark Making. My name is Kay Slater, um, and I wanted to show you one extra activity that you could do uh, when exploring mark making this month. I really love mark making, um, and while I really enjoyed making the last three episodes, I wanted to uh, give, you an, uh, give you an activity that you might really enjoy doing um, over the winter months while maybe you're not able to get outside as much um, and give you something to look forward to every couple of weeks. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be playing a gestural mark making game. While we're still gonna keep all three rules of explorers in mind, this is a game where you might actually keep something uh, a little bit longer than normal. So normally we play not for keeps, but this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna make something that you are gonna keep for a little bit. Um, and if you decide to keep all of these, uh, you could make, you could get a shoe box or you could make a box and you could collect them all together. Um, and then maybe in a couple of years or even just a couple of months when you're all finished the project, you could take a picture of them or you could just recycle them all. You don't have to keep them around. But I am, I am kind of bending our um, nothing for keeps because we are going to keep this around for a little bit. Okay, so let's play a gestural mark making game. So for this activity, I'm going to ask uh, if you have a piece of paper, it can be a recycled piece of paper, um, it can have uh, objects, it can have writing, it can have printing on the other side, but I do recommend that you get a, um, an eight and a half by 11 or a square piece of paper because we're going to be doing some paper folding. Um, and then a mark making tool. And if you've participated in any of the previous sessions, you know a mark making tool is anything that makes a mark on a page. Okay, so for this activity, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make an envelope. Here, I'm going to move my little host over to the side. We're going to be making an envelope. And so the reason that I have suggested a larger piece of paper, an eight and a half, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, is because uh, this size is going to be a little bit easier for you to make um, an envelope. But if you have a smaller piece of paper, you can still follow along. What we're going to start with is we're going to make a square. We're going to make square paper. So you can see that right now I've got a, a rectangular piece of paper and I want it to be square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, lower bottom right hand corner. I'm going to bring it over until this has a point here at the edge. And then I'm going to press down, I'm going to fold it. So this triangle right here shows me that I have half of a square. And what I'm going to want to do is I want to either cut or rip this extra rectangle off. Now when I'm doing paper folding, I never have a pair of scissors. And what I do is I just fold up this extra rectangle. So that again, it matches the edges of the triangle that I folded before. And then I cut my nails really, really short. But even with really short nails, I can press down make a really sharp crease. And I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to fold it the other way. Push down again. And I'm going to do it maybe twice more. Really press down with my nails. Okay. So now that I've got this this weakened spine, this weakened edge, because we pressed it back and forth, we go really slowly. It should be pretty easy to rip away the rectangle at the side, and now you're left with a square piece of paper. Okay. Now with the square piece of paper that has a fold that from the triangle fold that we did, we're going to fold it in the opposite direction so we have this crease running so that we've got an X across our page. So same thing as before, only we're going to take this edge and we're going to bring it up to the top and then press down with our fingers so that we've got that crease. And so now we've got, we've got a cross in our page. And that's going to help us when we're folding to know where we're going to fold to. Okay. 
So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take all the corners and we're going to bring them down, bring them to the point where the two lines, the two creases join. It's the middle of the, of the cross or the X. And I'm going pretty quickly because I've folded these kind of things before, but if you need to slow down or you need to pause, that's okay too. Don't worry if I get a little bit ahead. Um, you can catch up and you can pause the video. Okay, so I'm gonna unfold it again because now I've got all of these marks ready to go. Okay. So when you're looking at your paper and you see all these creases now, all of a sudden you have all these cool sections that you can mark up, that you could put things, uh, you could put things in any of these sections. And so what's fun about this gestural mark making game is, is that at this point of time, before you've done anything else for the next month, before you've tried anything else, before you've read anything else, before you learned something new, this gets to be a record of the marks that you make right now. And so it's kind of like writing a diary page or taking a selfie. We're going to record this moment in time by recording our gestures. So what I recommend is that you take a mark making tool and with no instruction from me, however you want to fill out these different sections, fill them out. They could just be a gesture or line they could be a picture. They could be a couple of words. I love cabbage. This is my favorite food. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll really fast draw a cabbage too, because why not? There we go. A couple of pieces of leaves. There you go. Um, and then, and then keep going. Here you can change different colors. You could do some of the activities that we did this month where uh, you could make this be a happy section where you're going to draw happy marks, marks that you've identified that make you happy. Maybe this is a sad where you're going to make marks that make you feel or that make you think of sad and it could be whatever marks that you want to associate with that. It could be, it could be you just coloring each of the spaces and trying different techniques of coloring. Maybe you go really fast in this section and then maybe you go really slow in this section. However you want to fill out each section is up to you. Whatever marks you choose to make, it's up to you. They are right because you chose them. Okay, so I have filled out all the spaces inside where I had folded these things. And so this is my snapshot. This is my selfie. This is my diary entry of marks that I made today on November 21st. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to fold our record, our diary, like our letter to ourselves about what was happening today into an envelope. So now what we're going to do, and if you're still coloring, that's okay. Color as long as you want, and then you can pause the video and then come back and check this out. You can also check out other instructions online about how to fold um, a 
piece of paper into an envelope, there's lots of instructions online. And so this is just one way to do it. So I'm going to take the left side, the left point, and I'm going to bring it back into the center like we had before, and because there's already a crease, it does that really easily. I'm going to do that again on this side. And for this one, instead of following the crease, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up so that it's almost, but not quite, into the center. And then I'm going to fold it and make a new crease. And I, I know that this is straight because where I had folded the page on the X before, there is a crease in the center that I can then match up with the crease that was on my section here. So I know that it's in the center, but I've got this little space and then I've got these little, little lines down here. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the corner, so left or right corner, and then I'm going to bring it up just maybe halfway along. So half, halfway through this line here, maybe a little bit less. And then you can see where down here there was this straight line. It's the same width as this, um, as this empty space, so the space that wasn't folded together. So I'm going to match up that edge here. So that's the column there with the edge of my paper. You can see, right, so that ends up being easy for me to match up there. And you see, I, I can keep coloring, right? Just because I colored in the page before, it doesn't mean that I can't now color in the spaces um, as I go along. There are no rules. However you want to fill this out as you're going along is up to you. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Try to match it up so that it's approximately the same, the same fold here as it was there. Press it down so it's got a nice strong crease. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to unfold this because what I wanted, I was unfolding this, or sorry, folding this just so I could have those creases there. This part can be a little bit complicated. So if, if you have um, trouble with this, don't worry about it. You can at this point, you could just fold it up like this and then you could take a piece of uh, tape and put tape across here. You could put a little bit of glue here if you wanted to in the corner. So if this, this next part is too hard for you, don't worry, you can still make an envelope, but you should just grab some, maybe some stickers or some glue, and then you can just glue these parts together. But if you're ready to keep going, what we're gonna do is we're gonna unfold what we just did down there. And where we folded this edge here, we're going to actually push that corner so that it goes the opposite way of where we folded it on both sides. There you go. So now that is sitting like this, and we've got this like boat shape right here. We're going to push this down so that it makes, uh, it follows where we had folded it before, and it has kind of made this, um, this penta, pentagon shape, this five-cornered um, like jewel-like shape here. Now what we're going to do is what I did before, where we're going to fold up basically from the point of where that pentagram is up to the top there. And then we're going to take that, that section, that boat there, we're going to push it past these points so that it sticks in and holds these sides closed. And there we go. So now we have an envelope and we can pull that down. We could put a sticker there. So there are two things left to do here. So we have this envelope that is this moment of time of when we were doing our mark making today. We also had this piece of paper that we cut off the side. So if you were using an eight and a half by 11 or a rectangular piece of paper, you might have a scrap extra piece of paper. What you could do now is remember that ge gestures are the same as you writing with your handwriting, right? Your handwriting is a form of mark making because you're marking the page and you're using uh, your gesture to make, um, to make the letters. So whether or not you wanna do something in cursive, a really pretty note, if you wanna do it in all caps, if you wanna do it in lowercase, or if you just want to draw a bunch of pictures and, and designs, that's up to you. But what I encourage you to do is maybe write down a message or a memory about today 
a message could be something that you want to tell yourself the next time you look at this. So maybe I like my hair. It could be um, your favorite show. It could be your favorite color. It could be a message or a secret you want to tell a friend. Anything that you want to do or mark up this page is great. This, this is up to you. This is just something extra where you can practice some more mark making. Remember, it's just to show that moment in time that is today. I'm going to fold that up. I'm going to put that in the envelope. And then I'm going to do one more thing, which I did on this one, which is today where I'm making, it's November 21st. So I want to say, do not open until December 20th. There we go. And so I'm going to put this in a special place to the side. Maybe I'll put a sticker on it. Maybe I'll put some tape on it so that it, it's actually sealed. Um, or I can just leave it like that if I put it in a stack. And if you practice this mark making game and you play it maybe once a month, or once a week, every time you finish making something new, you'll have what you made last time to be able to open up and see what you made. Maybe you liked it. Maybe you, you now do something different. Maybe you left yourself a note to remind yourself. I wrote, I like myself when I stretch and check in with my body. Hmm, that's a good reminder. I think when I'm all done um, um, mark making today, I'm going to go stretch because that makes me feel good. And so I could fold this back up again if I wanted to and then put it, put it in a container and then check it out another time. Or I could throw this away now, right? So no longer do I have to have this for keeps because I've already, I already looked at it a month later. And so I could throw this one away and keep this one until next month. Thank you so much for making along with me for this bonus episode. I hope you have a really uh, great rest of your November. Stay safe, wear your masks, wash your hands, um, and let's practice love and respect for each other um, by keeping our distance and um, being safe um, as we all work together through uh, these times where we have to practice social distancing. Thank you so much and I will see you soon.